Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to create a private chat application without a single line of code. We will integrate Alama and OpenWeb UI for this application. OpenWeb UI has a neat and responsive interface. It is inspired by ChatGPT. It also has a community where we can sign up and create a free account to search for models and prompts. Feel free to explore the community's website. This is their GitHub repo. This application has a lot of features, as you can see here. It has an easy to use interface, responsive web design. For LLMs, they offer RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, Prompt Preset Support, and Reinforcement Learning for the model by rating the responses with thumbs up. We can download or delete models with this UI. Also, we can customize the model in this UI by building a model file. You can explore and learn about the various features of this open source application. To run this locally, we need Docker desktop running. This is a prerequisite, so download Docker on your OS along with Olama. We will run the open web UI in a Docker container. As I mentioned, there's no coding involved. If you recall from the previous session, we built a chat app with Streamlit where we integrated Mistral model in a streamlet via code. We installed Olama on our machine. Therefore, we can run the following Docker command to integrate it with OpenWebUI in a container. So let's copy the Docker command and we'll run it as is. Open up a terminal or a command prompt and let's paste in the Docker command. This command will run and spin up an OpenWebUI container in a detached mode and this container runs on port 3000. We add the Docker internal host, and the data for this container will be saved at this location. The container name is OpenWebUI. And finally, this is the repo for the OpenWebUI where we're pulling this image from. Let's go ahead and run this command. If the image is not found locally, it'll go ahead and pull it from the web. Once the download process is complete, It'll create the Docker container and start it. Once the entire process is complete, we should see a new Docker container with the name of OpenWebUI. The image download is complete and we get a hash for a new container. So I'll bring up Docker Desktop and preview the new container. We indeed have a new container and we can click on the port and it'll launch the app running on port 3000. On the first run, we need to sign up and create an account. We can provide sign up details here. This is saved locally, so we can provide any details we like. It saved the data from the previous runs, so I'll go ahead and provide a different email. Okay, on the login, it ran into an error. It's not able to find the Alama server on the host machine. We can cancel out and see if the models are loaded. It seems the Alama server is not running, Therefore, the integration is failing. Let's test the Llama server on the host machine. By default, it runs on port 11434. However, it is not responding. This means the server is down. In the command prompt, we issue the Llama command and it prints out the available commands. We can run the serve command and it should start the Llama server. Okay, so the server is up and running. Let's ping the default port again. This time it's a success we get a response back from the Olama. Back in the web UI, let's refresh the page, and voila, we have the locally downloaded models show up in the dropdown. We can select a model and start interacting with it. I'll go ahead and ask one of the pre-generated questions. What are the five creative things to do with my kid's art? This will call the Mistral model with the question and print out the model's response here. So this is the open web UI. It is inspired by ChatGBT, has a neat look to it. We can drag and drop a file and ask question about the file. And it saves the chat history, so that's another good feature. There are a few more useful features in this UI. We can create or import prompts, as well as create new custom models based on the available models. So let's go ahead and create a custom model. I'm going to delete this existing model and re-import it. As I said, we can also download and delete models from this UI. So to create a new custom model, we'll utilize the OpenWebUI's community. Let's search for a model. 
we can see the content of the model file. We can download this by clicking on the get button. We provide the URL of the open web UI, which is localhost port 3000. We can paste in the URL and click on the import button. This will create a new model. And on this screen here, we can provide a name for the model, tag, and description. This model is based on Mistral, and we are modifying this version of the model for SQL generation. It will provide answers as SQL query for a Postgres database. I'll provide database schema here, and based on it, the model will generate SQL queries to answer our questions. I have a database schema handy. We have the table definition for various tables in the database. In addition, I am providing information on how to join these tables to one another. For example, the sales table joins to the product on the product key. Let's copy the schema and table joins. The schema is based on the database we have developed using dbt. It is based on AdventureWorks data. I have modified the table names to make them LLM friendly. For example, all the dimensions had a prefix of dim. The prefix is dropped. The fact sales table is sales now. These are the final dims in fact. I extract the schema from this database. We provide the schema under user provided database schema. Next step, we tell the model to examine the user's question and provide its schema. The query should be in alignment with the schema. This is one way we can customize the model so it provides desired output. We can also provide a prompt suggestion. This can be relevant to what you're customizing the model for. Finally, we can select the relevant categories. I am happy with the current selections. So let's go ahead and create and save this model. Now this model is available to us in the UI. Let's open up a new chat and under the model, let's select the SQL buddy. This is the prompt suggestion we provided. Let's ask the model a question. What are the top 10 products based on sales? It is going to factor in the system message, prompts, and schema. Then it will try to generate an appropriate response based on them. We'll wait for it to generate a query. If the response looks good, we can pick up the query and run it against the database. It did take a little longer to generate a response, but here we go. It is generating a response. It is providing a rationale for the query it's about to generate. It is generating the SQL query. Let's examine the query to see if it is a valid query based on the question we asked. It did pick up the correct keys to join the sales and the product table. It is summing the sales by product name, which looks correct. Select query is ordered by the total sales and the query is limited to top 10 rows. The query checks out. So let's copy and run it against the database. By default, the Postgres looks for the table in a public schema. Since our tables are in sales, let's provide the sales schema before the table name. Okay, it's a success. The query executes against the database and the results are promising. The model picks up the column names correctly and provided a working SQL query. This is really amazing. The open web UI has reinforcement learning built into it. We can click the thumbs up or down icon every time it generates a response. We can also edit the model's response to provide further training. The more training it receives, the better responses it will generate. So this is how we can set up a chat GPT like interface without a single line of code. We integrate the open web UI with Olama setup. This UI provides us with the various features including custom models, prompts, and chat history to name a few. This is really an amazing app. Feel free to try it out on your end and explore the various features it offers. Let me know what is your favorite feature of the app in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.